Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Pattern. In these videos, I sew up a whole bunch of samples in the pattern that we are about to release so that you can see exactly what's in the pattern. This week, we are talking about a skirt designed for stretch knit fabrics called Slay All Day. This awesome quick and easy skirt features three waistbands, four lengths, and five different split styles that you can use. So let's quickly talk about each one of those and then I will show you the skirts that I've made. So there are two narrow waistbands and this is the narrow waistband here. It is designed to have elastic inserted in it, but if you prefer not to, you don't have to. The first one is designed to sit right up on the natural waist and the second one is designed to sit on the lower waist. Then the third waistband is a wide shaped waistband. It is designed to sit right up at the waist and then the waistband, which is double layered, sits over your tummy. All three are quick and easy to sew. We have four lengths to choose from. We have the above the knee, the below the knee, the midi and the long you will find finished garment lengths in the tutorial on page five so you can see where that goes to on you. They are so easy to adjust and again I give you the instructions to do that whether you want to shorten it or lengthen it or raise or lower the split opening. And last there is the split designs. So there are five of those. There are the side splits. You can do one, or you can do two. Now the splits are very, very easy to adjust. And again, I outline that in the tutorial. Then we have center front and we have center back. And lastly, we have the offset, which is offset to one side over the leg. So let's talk about the fabrics for the Slay All Day skirt. You need four-way stretch knit fabrics. It needs a minimum of 60% horizontal stretch, so that's stretch around the body, so this way. And it needs a minimum of 40% vertical stretch, so that is this way. On page six on the fabric page, you will see a stretch factor guide that you can work it out for yourself. And basically all you do is you hold a 10 centimeter part of your fabric and then you stretch and it will show you how much stretch your fabric has. So you need to do that horizontally and vertically. There's a whole range of fabrics you can use. You want, as I said, four way stretch knits. So that means it has elastane, spandex or lycra. So you can use poly knits, you can use cotton lycra, Modal French Terry, double brush poly, single brush poly, bamboo, Modal, viscose, rayon elastane, ITY, wool jerseys, rib knits and more. Just need to make sure it has the horizontal and the vertical stretch that you need. Now, what if you want to use a two-way stretch knit fabrics? You can actually do that as well. I would just size up. Make sure it has plenty of stretch horizontally and if it just has a little bit of give vertically that is okay but size up. Now speaking about sizing with this pattern we size it a little bit differently to our other patterns. On this one you still want your hip seat measurement but you want it at your widest point. During testing we just found this was the best way to get the best fit without your skirt riding up as you walked. So for me, I've gone up a size because I have hip dip, which means I'm wider here than here where I normally measure myself. So that just makes it a lot more comfortable for me. So let's get started with our skirts. This first one is a sweater knit. It does have elastane in it. This one is 100% horizontal and about 35 vertical. So it is just under but because it's so stretchy on the horizontal, it was fine. And of course I sized it using my widest point. So this one is the fabulous midi length. It has two side splits and I've done the high waist waistband. 
it's easy to play around with where you position it. You can pull it down a little bit, you can pull it up. Now for me, I don't actually put elastics in my waistband. The waistband is the right size for me to not have to. Um, anyone else with tummy issues, you might not like putting elastic in your garments too. This works very, very well, or you can use the other one, which I will show you in a sec. So this is so comfortable and just so easy to wear. Let me show you with a jumper that I made that is totally adorable. Isn't this adorable? Matching, look at that awesome sleeve. I just, I had this vision and I just had to whip up what was in my vision. I think we need this as a passion. So this is so warm and I just love how it's a set and it's all chic and I'm all snuggly and warm. I also love sweater knit for a work environment because it keeps you that little bit warmer. This is just matched with the all in shirt with the make it happen sleeve that you've all seen before in linen and it's just lovely and chic. Next, we have another sweater knit. Again, this one has a last stain in it, but it is very, very stretchy. It is 90 horizontal and it is 50 vertical. It is the midi length, so quite long. And it is the center front split. And you can lower that if you like, or you can raise it a little bit. And then I have the narrow waistband at the waist. Again, I didn't put elastic in mine. And I've paired it with the unwind, also in a sweater knit, for just a lovely, comfy, floppy, really casual look. And for when that weather is a little bit warmer, I've paired it with the Keep It Simple. Next up is this fabulous Modal French Terry. It is so gorgeous. I got this one from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. 65 horizontal and 70 vertical. And it just makes a gorgeous skirt. Coming to just above my ankles. And it has the wide shaped waistband that sits at the waist. If you wanted to wear it lower, you totally could. Um, and it has the side splits. I've teamed it here with the new one shoulder tank. It also looks gorgeous paired with the game on one shoulder top. If you wanted some sleeves and a little bit of a warmer vibe. This fabric is so soft on the body. And of course I sized it using my widest point to determine my size. This is the BUT with the massive cow neck in a scuba and it looks gorgeous. Nice and warm, but really has that elegance to it. Next up, we have the above the knee length skirt. Isn't that cute? Now, depending on how tall you are or how long your legs are, is going to depend on how long this is on you but you will find finished length measurements in the tutorial on page five um so this has the back split so cute and it's just really subtle it has the high waistband now this one is in a ponty and the thing i wanted to talk about with ponty is it has this some ponty has this almost compression stretch. If you're using a fabric with compression, so it has a really tight stretch, you may want to size up um, at least half a size. But for me, I found um, sizing up was the trick. So you can see here as I walk, I didn't size this one. As I walk, you can see it has a little lip now because it is pulling up. Now, if you want a really tight skirt, and you don't mind that, then that is totally fine. But if you want it to just fit nicely without having to worry about pulling it down, then I would consider sizing up for fabrics with compression. 
Now I wanted to show you this adorable little trick. We have a little belt buckle. We pop it here and through the other side. And then we pop it in this side and through the other side. Give it a bit of a tug. Easy. And the knot, you don't have that little gap that a knot causes. You can then knot that under there if you wanted to. Or you could fold it up. Maybe not. <laughs> Whatever you wanted to do. I just thought that was a really cute little idea. Especially for a kind of like a work look. And then for a fun, easy summer vibe. A t-shirt. You can't go wrong with a t-shirt. Lovely, just easy and comfortable. And for winter, add a jumper. I really love cropped jumpers with this skirt. So to the waist, to the hip, but just keep it really lovely and short to give yourself a nice balance between the bottom and the top. And that way you can have a little bit more room in the top. This is actually a store-bought jumper and I hated the sleeves. So I used the True Romance, um, you can also use the star, star Struck, and just kind of cut the bottom and added the cuff. So they're a little bit smaller, but it was that vibe of that bishop sleeve and it just makes the whole jumper. So there you go for a winter vibe. Next we have below the knee length in a boo spandex, it has a wide fabulous waistband and then I've done the centre front split. This is with the unwind which actually I think is going to look yeah that much better. You want to create that elongated look so which is why I love things right up at the waist because it creates a longer leg look. So this as I said is with the nice and roomy unwind in a short sleeve. And this is with a cropped besties. This I love. It has all the way up to your waist, so you can bring that up just that little bit more above your waist. There we go. And that way it hides underneath. And then, voila. And you've got that. <laughs> Made yourself a few curves. And a summer look. And look how fabulous it looks as an option for an event. This is um, a silk make it happen that I made some some time ago and it just pairs so beautifully with a fitted skirt. Absolutely love this. Next we have the offset split. So this is offset down over one leg. I've done it in the long length in this fabulous soft Velvet from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. Um, I've done it all the way up to the waist and it's just a really good option for going out. Oh, I've teamed it with the Hugs and Kisses cami and worn with the One Shoulder Tank for a fabulously elegant look. Love that split. Now if you wanted to create an even sexier look, you can bring that split up higher. Really easy to do and the instructions are in the tutorial. And so easy to just daytime down the whole look of velvet with your favourite t-shirt. This is the very popular carefree cuffed tee. So it's just lovely and loose and free. And the one split. Now this fabric has 70% horizontal stretch, which is great. It has 25%, 30% vertical stretch, which is slightly under, but it works for this because the horizontal stretch is so good. It is from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. This next one is one of my favorites because it is so easy to wear. This is a rib knit and it's a really soft and stretchy rib knit that I had in my stash. I'm not sure where I got it and I'm sorry about that. But this rib knit has amazing stretch. It has 110% horizontally and 70% vertically. So it is really easy to wear and get it to fit. So this is the long length 
I've done the narrow waistband without. Mine is without elastic, but it is designed to have elastic. Um, it has the one side split this time, which looks awesome. And I've just paired it again with the carefree cuffed tee for just that really easy weekend look, which can, you can easily dress up with some great boots or shoes. So the fit is just, I just really love it. And it just sits on my hip. Fabulous. And then for our winter look, we have the fabulous Sweet Cheeks sweater. This is in the cropped length. Now, if cropped isn't for you because you're going to end up showing maybe a little bit of tummy, you can either cut to the waist, so cut this one right up to your waist, or you can layer it. And it looks so great with the unwind pair of sneakers for a weekend look. You can see just how stretchy the rib knit is. I probably need to put elastic in the waist of this one. Fabulous with the split. This next one is a cotton lycra from Spotlight. It has 70% horizontal and actually 90% vertical stretch. It's the wide waistband, so sits over my tummy and hugs through my back. And then it is the two side splits in the long length. Now this one is actually half a size down, so you can see that it does fit firmer through my body. So this is probably, this is between my usual measured size and my measured size for this skirt. So it is that little bit tighter and I can definitely see it. I do like my proper measured size. And just a little t-shirt I had in my cupboard. And then our winter look with a yummy and warm wool knit jumper. Really snugly to finish our winter look. And you could probably wear it with boots if that's your preference as well. I think that would look really, really good. And I just like it with a nice loose jumper, which you can imitate with the sweet cheeks. It has that great little step design at the side. And then you can easily do a little tuck if you wanted to, just to create that extra length. You can see it there. Now this next one is a ponte fabric, but the reason I wanted to show you it is because it has a lot of compression. So it meets our stretch recommendation. Um, it's 60-60 both ways, but it's got this really, really tight stretch. So I have done this in my measured size, the same size as most of the others, but it fits really, really tightly. But yeah, I don't know if you can see in this light, it does have a lot of horizontal lines, which means it is a little bit tight through the thigh. But for some reason, this one works. It just works, it's not riding up. So it really is sometimes just an experiment with your fabric. That's just what comes with, with sewing and using different fabrics. My recommendation for most other fabrics, for most other compression fabrics, is to size up. And if you size up, you can always bring it down a little bit if you need to through the hip. So this is the two side splits and it is the high narrow waistband with elastic. And I just love it. I mean, it even works for a weekend look, really, if you're wearing it, you know, with sneakers and a woolly jumper, but would also make a good work skirt. Looks great with a tank, kind of weekend, sporty-ish vibe. You can use the timeout tank for a tank. This one is a polyelastane in midi length. It has the offset split, so down one leg. And the wide waistband and again with the timeout tank and I love all the lengths with a jumper 
for a winter vibe. Just snuggly and warm and elegant. Next up, we have a nice, soft polyelastane. This is from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. It is the below the knee length with the two side splits and it has the wide waistband, so comfy over the tummy. Um, worn with the timeout tank. 100% horizontal, 40% vertical, just easy. Easy to wear, easy to sew. And the fitted silhouette of the skirt just makes it so easy to even wear with an oversized jumper. Nice and warm. So that is all of them. What did you think? Three waistbands, four lengths, and five split designs. Fast and easy to make over a whole variety of fabrics. The tutorial is quite comprehensive. You will find information about adjusting your pattern, about fabrics, about sizing. You'll find finish lengths, you'll find split lengths, all of it so that you can have a play around with this fabulous new pattern. From tomorrow morning you will see the testers start sharing their photos over a range of sizes and styles. They will be sharing from Monday until the following Monday. The pattern itself will go on sale Thursday night at 6.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time and you of course get 15% off the new pattern during a pattern release. You'll also find a couple of other patterns on sale that complement the look. Don't forget to enter our pattern release giveaway. Just comment below on your favourite style and you will go in the draw to win one of the Slay All Day patterns for free. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the group.